Hey guys, today I am making one of my family's favorite meals. It is chicken curry with rice. Every time we went to visit my mother-in-law, she would always have this meal waiting for us after a long day of travel. So it is a very fond memory and it is a recipe that everyone loves. So let's get started. I have four chicken breasts in this bag and we're gonna season that with salt and pepper. We're just gonna add flour. I'm using gluten-free flour. It works just as well, but you can obviously use all-purpose flour. So we're going to dump some flour in here. You don't have to measure it. You just wanna make sure you have enough to cover your chicken breasts. Okay, so we're just gonna shake it in our bag here. I'm gonna go ahead and seal it. Okay, in my pan here, I have five tablespoons of butter and they're starting to melt. And we're gonna go ahead and add our chicken. And shake off the extra flour. Now for this, you can use any type of chicken you like. I'm using boneless, skinless chicken. My mother-in-law liked to use any kind of chicken parts that were on sale at the store. Sometimes she used thighs, sometimes she used chicken breasts, but almost always she had the skin on. But for my family, we just like it with good old plain skinless chicken breasts. Now we're gonna flip it. It's ground on one side, and we're gonna flip it to the other side here. Just like that, perfect. They've been browned on both sides. We're gonna go ahead and take them out and transfer them to a plate. And now we're gonna saute, turn our heat down to medium. We're gonna saute one large yellow onion and two bunches of celery stalks with their leaves. Those give the best flavor. So we wanna add some of the leaves. Like we're going to add just a drizzle of olive oil and we're going to season it with salt and pepper. I have three cloves of garlic diced up and we're going to go ahead and add this to our celery and onion. To that we're going to add two cups of rice. This is basmati rice. Put that right in. And you need four cups of chicken stock. This is, on average, about four cups. I don't even measure it. So I just use one carton of chicken stock, just like this. And to this, we're gonna add one heaping tablespoon of curry powder. I'm gonna bring this up to a boil. Okay, this has come to a boil. We're gonna go ahead and add our chicken back in. And then we're gonna cover it and cook it on low until the rice and the chicken are fully cooked, about 45 minutes to an hour. A little over 30 minutes, and I'm gonna go ahead and check this because the rice looks like it is fully done. And I'm gonna go ahead and check our chicken here. That looks perfect. Yum. This meal is so delicious and it comes together so easy. It's all in one pot and I think you're going to love it. I hope you guys give this recipe a try and have a blessed night.